So here we are, first job up this morning. We got towed in yesterday on Anzac Day, actually poor bugger. He drives his petrol car all the time and uh, obviously this is the uh, second vehicle, the Land Cruiser 200 V8. And he's put I think about 100 litres of petrol in the vehicle. They got about 50, 60 metres up the road luckily and he suddenly realised what he'd done. So they had it towed in here which is obviously the best thing or drained it there would have even been better for him I guess on the day. So we're just about to start sucking the fuel out of it. We'll put 40 or 50 litres of fresh diesel in, bleed the fuel up out of the fuel filter over the back there and then start it up. We've also got some special uh, additive called Rattle Stop that we'd probably put a, a litre bottle of that in there as well just to give it some extra lubricity. When it comes to petrol and diesel, nowadays with common rail diesel I think it's actually uh, not such a big problem after all. With old diesel pumps etc they are very complex but nowadays it's really just a supply pump and the injector itself really only has the needle that lifts up and down and we've surprisingly seen a lot of petrol in diesel. I guess diesel is becoming even more popular so petrol owners move over to it and make the mistake and we're seeing a lot of petrol in diesel and we're seeing a lot more survival going on than, uh, than major damage. Probably a case uh, in point could be where somebody might go well it's had petrol and diesel let's rebuild everything we say not it's just too much money to be throwing everything in the rubbish bin so basically we'll get the petrol out of this get some fresh diesel in get it up and running and it's going to be uh, time will tell that we'll see how it is we'll check back in on this later on today i'm andrew from berrimer diesel